Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at the Proto 2000 SD9 locomotive. This is a Burlington Northern locomotive equipped with sound and DCC. And it's actually BNSF, which means it's got the Burlington Northern uh, scheme, um, but it's a BNSF, an early BNSF SD9. So let's go ahead and take a look at this locomotive in more detail. MSRP 299.98. You can find it on sale different places. Uh, Walders.com has sales occasionally, so they may have it on sale. Um, as of the date of this recording, I believe I saw it on sale on their website, so that's cool. You never know. Um, they've always got different items on sale on their website. So let's go ahead and get started on the review of the SD9 starting right now. So what we have here is the box. First time coming out of the box. I did pull the flap open already, but inside you'll find the SD9. Some literature from Walters Proto about the SD9. Proto 2000 registration card, exploded parts diagram, and some information about the sound units. Then you have the locomotive itself. You got a little parts. Pull off the plastic here. Got some parts, coupler parts, and detailed parts there. But the locomotive itself is cradled in some plastic in this styrofoam. So we'll pull it out of the box. Looks like it has basically bracing for where the couplers are. So you install the couplers yourself. You remove the bracing by taking the screws out to remove the bracing and replacing it with couplers. So I'll go ahead and remove the bracing real quick. So the bracing's off. We haven't installed the couplers in a sense of time, but you can start to see the details form here as you take a closer look at this model. At the top, you've got a beacon light. You've got cab installed figures, or installed cab figures. <laughs> the SD9, you've got walkway tread, <clears throat> safety tread all along the side. You've got stanchions and handrails that are pretty durable. They are plastic. You've got truck detail. You've got the front green and white stripes for the Burlington Northern scheme. You have the ladders up front, crew access ladders, ditch lights, MU hoses, MU stand, horn, antenna, you have a rear facing horn as well back here. As we work our way towards the back, especially looking up at the top, you've got dynamic brake fans. You've got a winterization hatch. You've got radiator fans, radiator fan grills here, radiator fans. 6145 is the obviously the cab number is on the side there along the back as well. Looking at the back view, that's what you see. Got those dual lights there, dual LEDs. More of the same detail on the other side. Got a lot of nice truck detail. Handrails seem pretty straight forward, but yet plastic, so durable. Separately applied grabs. <clears throat> really nice detail. classification lights or marker lights here and then you got your stairway with etched I wouldn't say etched but I'm um, safety tread along the side there and again MU hoses front and back so overall the cab figures are a nice touch as well I know a couple of my viewers talk about the ghost trains that run around overall very nice detail on this locomotive. I'm going to go ahead and apply track power so you can hear the features of the decoder which is a tsunami decoder so let's go ahead and do that now.
Well, that is your Soundtrack Tsunami Decoder. It uh, has a 16-bit digital processor. It's got hyperdrive technology with uh, high-resolution speed steps. You've got extended address mode, so you can assign the locomotive any number up to 9,999. So, and then you've got the different functions of the decoder as well, which we're going to go over starting right now. Go ahead and show you from a different angle the headlight. So here's your LED headlight and ditch lights which are functioning. We're going to go and listen to some sounds. F1 is the bell. F2 is the air horn. F3 the short air horn, F2 again the uh, regular air horn, dynamic brakes is F4, F7 is your dimmer, it's going to dim your headlights. F9 is brake squeal. It sets your brakes, but you can still rev the engine up. Let's listen to some RPMs. If I let go of F9, the engine starts moving at the RPM that I left it at. So overall, really nice engine sounds. We'll go ahead and do a bell and horn sequence for the grade crossing. We'll take off F3 here. Alright, here we go. So there you have your model. You've got to kill some lights to show you the beacon which is assigned to function F11. There you have it. Nice beacon light. Looks nicely done. Pretty accurate. It uh, fades in and fades out like it's rotating there in the casing. So I think it was a well done job on the beacon light. Before we wrap things up, one thing that's pretty cool is it's also got lighted number boards. So you can control those with F6. So lighted number boards is something that not every company does, so it's a nice detail as well on this locomotive. Well guys, that wraps up the review on the Walther's SD9. That's a Proto 2000 locomotive. So pretty cool. I really enjoyed the locomotive. I like a lot of the features because it really steps up the detail. Uh, Burlington Northern Santa Fe, that patch job I was telling you about is pretty cool. It's just shortly after BNSF merged and they still had the Burlington Northern schemes around. So they're slapping BNSF patches on these locomotives. And that's actually accurate and very modeled, modeled very well on this, on this model. So overall, 
nice locomotive. Be sure to check it out. I'll put the link below to the Walders link so you can find the locomotive easily on their website. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time right here on my channel. Take care.